On an average day, we'll feed anywhere from 3,000 people on up. And that includes all of our restaurants, our catering services, our craft service, where we right now are providing food for about eight shows on the lot. And each show does about 100 to 150 people per day. Our special events can be anywhere from 10 to 15 people up to we do our employee holiday party for 6,000 people. So we're open to anything. We do it themed, we can do it basic, and you know, we're, we're one-stop shop. We want to be able to handle the guest requests from start to finish. So Robert, I met with the gentlemen who were doing the cupcakes for, for the birthday party this weekend. I'm responsible for primarily overseeing the operation of our entire department from a servicing aspect, a financial aspect, human resources aspect, guest interaction aspect, um, training and development of our staff. My major tasks in my position are ensuring that we are offering a variety of foods and beverages on our different menus and our different outlets to our varied audience on the studio lot where we're serving everybody from executives through all the staff that work in all the departments on the lot. So there's a great deal of multitasking that goes on in terms of what I do daily. We really are very green on the lot. So one of the things that we started is we work with our vendors on anything on our disposables that we use in the cafeterias. We don't use styrofoam, we don't use plastic. Everything right now has to be what's the latest and the greatest and eco-friendly. My advice for someone who would be interested in, in pursuing this as a career is to start out and learn everything you can basically from the ground floor. Don't let pride get in the way of either being a dishwasher, being a prep cook. The foundation of a kitchen, in my opinion, is the dishwasher and the pot washer. Because if you don't have anyone doing what they do, there'll be no plates, no silverware, there'll be no pots and pans for the cooks to prepare in. You gotta learn how to peel garlic before you can cook a lobster. Understand that it's not about you, it's about the people that you're servicing. We have a culinary team where I have an executive chef, an executive sous chef, and a sous chef. Um, and then they have staff who are reporting up to them doing the daily prep. I truly love where I am. This is possibly one of the most unique opportunities that anybody in the food service industry will ever have being on a studio lot, dealing with the diverse folks that we do deal with in terms of requests, in terms of the food trends. You don't find that normally in a restaurant or a hotel where a menu might change, for example, every three to four months, where we change menus in some of our outlets daily. Our specials are changed daily. So those are the things that give me complete satisfaction.